How many times has this happened to you? A long day at the office and you're ready to go home when, oh no, all your data is gone. Or how about unsightly viruses that activate at the most inopportune times, forcing you to wait seconds to get back to work? At long last, the solution to all these problems, and more, is here! Introducing ATAS, the lightweight file-infecting virus that activates when you want it to. Tired of working on that school paper? No problem! With ATAS, just hit the print screen button and tell your teacher all the letters fell off the screen. Amazing! Don't want human resources to find out about your recent workplace infraction? Don't worry, just infect your boss's computer with ATAS and you're home free! Warning, infecting your boss's computer with a computer virus may carry criminal charges. Dynamo One Corp is not responsible for any disciplinary action, firing, or legal consequences that may arise from misuse of ATAS. Use at your own risk. Side effects may include altered file sizes, unexplained file corruption, warnings from your antivirus, the directory listing command breaking or behaving in unexplainable ways, nausea, upset stomach, diarrhea. If these symptoms persist for more than four hours, consult your local antivirus vendor. ATAS, the miracle virus from Dynamo One Corp. Buy today! Nope, not actually available for purchase. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed uh, that little silly infomercial that I decided to make kind of spur of the moment, so pardon me if it's a bit crude, but I figured that'd be at least a little amusing, so I hope you liked that. So here's the actual coverage of ATAS. So like we've seen, it does break the uh, directory listing. So right now we'll do one just to make sure it works. If we look at our old palgraphics.com, it is of course 19,742 bytes. But as we run ATAS, it actually employs a stealth mechanism that I haven't seen before, where it just kind of completely breaks directory listings. So I guess if you can't actually see the file size increase, since, you know, the command to do so is completely broken, you won't notice the file size change. So now that we've actually run this virus, we try looking at files, we get messages like, file not found. And it actually does this on all of them. On my virtual machine, it would actually display erroneous file sizes in the, uh, like, millions of bytes, so it was pretty clear something was wrong. But it infects files, and then as we saw in the infomercial, simply pressing print screen collapses everything to the bottom of the screen, and then you are free to continue your work. So it really doesn't do much on top of that, but I thought that was really neat, and that's why I thought it kind of lent itself since it's a bit different to that kind of infomercial style video. So, hit print screen and the job is done. And thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope it wasn't too cringe-worthy. Thank you for watching again, take care.